Hello everyone! Today I would like to share the decorations we did for my niece's 8th birthday. It was during the summer and we did a lemonade theme party. This is how we decorated. The colors are white, tan, and yellow. We had six tables. This is the main table. We put a tan color fabric for the background. I did the banner. It says, Happy Birthday, Angela. I did it with brown paper bags. I glued a white doily on the paper bag and glued each letter on top. We used jute string to hang it and held it up with wooden clothespins. I will show at the end of the video how I made the banner. Around the banner there are four giant paper flowers. My sister-in-law made these flowers from cardstock. They turned out very good and we attached them to the fabric with big safety pins. On the table we had different types of goodies for guests to eat. We tried to stay with the color scheme. Mostly yellow color candy and treats. We got a lot of them from Party City. And we got all the containers from the dollar store. These are lemon pops. They look like slices of lemons. Some swirly lollipops. We put shredded brown paper bags to hold the pops up. Twisty sweet pops. We tied juicestring around the containers. And we got some yellow starburst. These spicy peanuts we got from the grocery store. They are peanuts that have chile. This is chamoy. It is a Mexican sauce you can put over snacks or fruit. It tastes sweet, sour, salty, and spicy. You can also just eat it alone. It is made from fruit. Some yellow colored gummy drops. These are yellow colored chocolate pieces. These are called Japanese peanuts. They are from Mexico. They have a crunchy shell made from wheat flour and soy sauce. They are very good. And we got some vanilla flavored cookies. Later we put yellow gelatin cups with the rest of the candy treats on the table with the presents and the cake. To decorate the tables, we used a white fabric tablecloth and I got some burlap fabric from Joann's. I cut the table runners into one long piece, 1 feet by 12 feet, and put them over the tables. The flower vases are mason jars from the dollar store. My sister made these. You cut a yellow lemon into round slices and place them around the inside of the jar. Then you put a little bit of water and insert the baby's breath flower stems in the jar. Then you add more water to fill the top. They turned out very nice. The main attraction of the party was this lemonade stand. My brother built it. He used wood from Home Depot. He painted the word lemonade hanging from the roof. My sister did a tassel banner to decorate it. We got glasses and straws. It was 25 cents per cup. My niece would serve the lemonade and put the money in that box. It was really cute to see her. My mom made the lemonade. We had three flavors. One was plain lemonade made with yellow lemons. Another was strawberry lemonade made from small green lemons. And the third one was also made with small green lemons and flavored with cucumbers. Now, for food, we served carne asada beef and chicken, cooked on the grill, served with beans and rice and tortillas and salsa. This was the piñata, an emoji piñata. This one had candy inside and another piñata full of emoji balls. Look at those faces, so much fun. So I will now show you how to do the banner. To make the banner, you will need brown paper bag. So take one bag, and fold it in half. And you'll need to cut a triangle piece from the bottom to make this shape. This is approximately an inch and a half from the bottom, so that's how much I will measure here. Measure one inch and a half and make a mark. You'll need to cut from your mark to the corner. So just cut into a straight line. So now our bag looks like this. Use this same bag to cut all the others out. Take another bag Use this as your template to trace the same shape. And then cut. So 
So then make as many uh, as you need for your name. So the next thing to do is um, we're going to decide how tall we want this banner. So there's already a natural, a natural crease line here, but I'm going to make it a little bit taller. So I'm estimating about half an inch taller from the natural fold. That's how tall my banner will be. So I'll need to strap this down. I'm going to take my glue gun and glue this part down. Just like that. And next I take my jute string and I will place it here where this folds this way. And leave yourself a lot of space at the edge because you don't know how much you'll need for the hanging. Put some more glue here. And place your string here. So now we need to secure this whole rectangle piece. So put more glue along the edge. Press this down. And now we have our, our banner piece. Now let's put another one on. So remember to cut, to fold a little bit above that to make them all the same. And turn back. Place it under your string like this. Strap this down again. Now decide how far apart you want your banner sheets. So I made mine about half an inch apart like this. So if you notice the ones that I did, they're about that much apart. And so that's the same distance I'm leaving here. I'm gonna add more glue. Putting my string down. And next, I just need to secure this rectangle part. Turn it forward. And there we have two banner pieces already. So continue along the string until you have all the letters you need. Okay, so next uh, we want to place a doily on top of each banner. And I'm using Recollections white doilies. So you can decide how you want to glue this. Uh, what I did was I took a doily and I put glue stick in the center piece. I put glue stick there and then on the small parts here I'm using my art glitter glue to place glue all around the back and all around the edge. I turn it around and I place it in the center. So the next thing we need to do is to glue our letters on top of the doilies. And what I did was I printed, printed them out on some cardstock. You can hardly see there the words. And I used light gray and I just printed the outline of each word 
And what you have to do then is just cut them out. So I'll be cutting out uh, the letters here. So I have now cut out the letter H. And I will glue my H right there. I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Trying to place it in the center. And there you have it. You'll need to, of course, continue with all your letters. But this is essentially how I did the pen. Okay, so here I have a different glass containers that we used for the candy tables. So we just went to the dollar store and just got different containers. And we just tied a bow with the same jute string. And on the, on the candy that had lollipops, we put shredded, shredded paper bag in here. We shredded paper bag so that it can hold the popsicles. Just like this one also. And then the signs were, um, the signs were Michael's wood pieces. And my sister made these signs and she painted yellow around the edge and this is black chalk paint and then she just wrote it with chalk the name of each item and it's glued to a clothespin and then attached there on the edge like that so this is what it looks like and uh, she also made some stands which was just gluing a stick and then some popsicle sticks for the stand and it, it, it would stand on the table this is also from the dollar store to where we put the cookies and we also got a bowl to put some peanuts this container was also from the dollar store and this uh, stand is where we wrote open and closed which was at the center at the table I will now show you how we did the tassel banners it's like this you will need one sheet of tissue paper fold it in half this way Try to align the corners. Fold it in half again this way. You have formed a square. From here, fold it again in half. So now you'll be cutting some strips along this way and make sure that your top is the folded edges and not the open edges like this. So we will leave a, a space of about two inches. So we will cut up until about two inches, about there. So we just now need to cut strips. And the strips can be about a quarter of an inch thick. So 
here's our finished one. I'll cut. Let's open it. So we're opening it straight at the center. What we need to do now is to turn it this way. And we're going to roll it up. Starting from one edge, Let's just take it and roll it up. Straighten it as you go. Okay, so now our tassel looks like this. We're going to take this center and just twist it. Twist it from edge to edge. We'll look this way. And now take it and make a loop. This loop will serve as our hook when we pull the string through there. So we now take some tape and secure it with tape around the bottom. And there we have our tassel and with a loop for the string to pull through. So when you're done with all of the ones you want to use, take your ute, ute string, pass it through the center of the loop, and then just make as many as you would like and the colors that you would like all around like this.